and welcome to the Animag Podcast. Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to Animag, the number one anime podcast on the planet, baby. I'm your host, Asylum, sitting here with... Thomacus. And your boy, Zay. <laughs> the coziest Jesus. man in podcasting history uh, i don't know if i can notice but i'm laying back i'll put my chair back because i'm just getting ready for this episode for this <laughs> lame ass episode what's Honestly, wrong man just... you sick or something <clears throat> well, my, uh, i might need to drink some water probably bro that's why i got i got the power aid right here because i feel like i got some snot in my throat it's not getting good water boys. and my... ramen water and ramen this man's got a bowl of ramen yeah you fucking Eat the ramen, then drink the juice. It'd fucking clear your throat. Oh my god. Well, we've made it. Middle of the season, everybody. Oh! <laughs> and I have to say, there's only I'm ready been... for this shit to finish. Yeah. I'm ready for it <laughs> Please <laughs> end soon. Please! <laughs> I don't know if I have it in me for another six episodes, boys. Like, for me, it was at least better than the other two episodes. Better than... Uh, uh four and five episode. yeah yeah i'd say that i can agree with that but i mean out of six we've only had one major banger so it's like to me the season is a flop it's breaking my little heart because i fucking you love can tell this when it's <laughs> you can tell when it's a flop when it ain't popping up on the top 10 and masamuni kun is hitting an average of five <laughs> dude rent a girlfriend has not touched top 10 at all this podcast season. at all i'm, I'm maybe depressed the last, maybe the last episode maybe that give it a shot. i think the last episode will probably get them there but it's so sad to see a show that like you know season two it was consistently in the top 10 if not high mm-hmm. but it was nah. at least in the top 10 and this season mm, not even in the charts <laughs> we haven't seen it once so i guess we should just dive on in right because it's this, this not a doozy of an episode but we got some things to discuss. We open to see Kazuya and Chizuru, all right? They're showing up at the resort where they're going to be staying the night. And Chizuru is in awe with how beautiful the whole entire resort is. And they walk into the lobby area. And as Chizuru is kind of enjoying the view out the window, Kazuya can't help but to get what had happened earlier out of his head, wondering, like, what it is exactly that Chizuru was going to say to him. Because if you remember... At the end of episode five, Chizuru stopped him while they were just getting to the train station. She was like, hey, uh, uh, uh. So he's got this stuck in his head. He even says, I get stumbling over your words once, but three times? Come on now. She was acting like Sumi back there, you know, acting like she can't speak. (laughs) (laughs) I did see that. They made... They made like something about Sumi. This man is freaking out while thinking about this. He's freaking out big time. Bro, this man is freaking out all episodes, getting annoying. It was looking like season two all over again. (laughs) I knew he's freaking out since episode one of season one. Yeah, but like he's kind of contained it this season up until this episode. He has like 50 freakouts in this episode. Basically. You know, this is going to be the first of many freakout episodes he has in this episode. So for a brief moment, he kind of feels like the rest of us probably felt like she was going to confess her love to him, maybe. Because come on, admit it. You know that's what we all want to see. You know that's what we thought we were going to see. But... I don't know, man. She on that bullshit. She is on some bullshit. But, I mean, they got to drag the show out to get to six seasons, whatever. It's going to come to a point where I'm just going to start hating this show because that's all they do is just drag it on rather than give us a little taste of what we want, man. So as they go to check in, they run into a little problem. Here we go, boys. Mommy has only booked one room for the two of them. Uh, I think you just uh, said mommy. mommy? Oh. You, 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 you <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, whoa. Mommy like, wait, helping out? Mommy I was like, she's room? helping out? Um, I, don't re- <laughs> I don't recall. All right, so as they get to the check-in, they run into a little problem, boys. Minnie has only booked one room hey. for the two of them. There you go, Papa. You got it right. So Kazuya <laughs> is like, what can we do about this? I'll pay for a room out of pocket if I have to. Okay. And it ends up being like 
130 bucks. So that's kind of a lot. For hey, mind you, pocket. mind you, this man is freaking out about sleeping together yep. when they literally did it before last they, season. Yeah, they've done it before, and and she's yeah, gonna he come forgot up about and, it. She's really gonna mention that. It. And literally, a virgin's dream is to sleep with a girl, bro. Why is this man freaking <laughs> well, out over? I mean, also, like they didn't sleep together; they slept in the same room. Yeah, but I still kind of like, sleeping together, basically. I guess. Uh, I, guess. I, don't know. I don't know about that. So look, he's like, "I'll pay for this room out of pocket, whatever, 130 bucks or so." Chizuru just grabs the key, the one key, and she starts walking to the elevator, and literally turns around and she looks at him and says, "It's not like we haven't slept in the same room once before, anyways." And then boom, Thank intro you. hits. Thank I, you. She's got a point. <laughs> I can't believe he forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, how? Okay, this man's in mad love with Chizuru. How do you forget about that? That's that deep love shit. <laughs> I, mean, I guess. No, he just fucking. <laughs> oh, I think we might have to bleep that out for you. Might have to bleep that word. Yeah. I, know. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I just realized that as I said it, I realized what wow. I was saying. You guys, you guys know what he said. <laughs> so, <laughs> we might have to blur some of those uh, pitches in Yase's background. <laughs> It's only like, like, it's only like this uh, one. Right I don't here. think we have to. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Tommy Kiss was talking about eating ramen. Look, my girl right here. Wow. I actually never noticed what was all back there. That's funny. Once they get up to their room to drop off their bags, Shizuru says, you better give Minnie a good talking to when we get home. And Kazuya's like, oh yeah, I for sure will. Like, you know, he's eating this shit up. He will not tell this girl nothing. Right there, that got me confused. I was like, wait, weren't you supposed to do something about Minnie? Because didn't Shizuru say that she was going to do something last episode? Um, no. She did mention how, like, her and Kazuya might be giving Minnie the wrong idea as to like mm -hmm. what they truly are. Uh, I know she mentioned that in the last episode, but I don't think she ever said she was going to like go and confront her or anything. I don't really remember. Last episode was so shit. I'm so clocked out of that. I just remember <laughs> like, like fucking... <laughs> I just remember the important the part I, of it. The most I can think about what she was talking about with Minnie last episode was pretty much how she wanted to come back home for a sweet surprise for Minnie. Oh, she wanted yeah. to give her a That's nasty I, yeah. surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So they drop off their bags. You know, she's like, you better scold Minnie for this bullshit. And then they head out to scout the location where they're going to be filming the last scene. And like we said earlier, this entire episode is Kazuya basically being nervous as hell or, you know, rather anxious, I guess, is the better word to use. They get to the scout location and, you know, it's beautiful. It turns out Kazuya even got permission to film at the location that they're going to be. So they're going to wind up filming the shot. Um, I think it was after midnight because they're wanting like a starry night sky. So they're standing there and Shizuru asks Kazuya if he wants to shoot a test run, okay, since they're all the way out at the film location anyways. So they shoot a little sample clip and whatever. They go back to their fucking room and Kazuya's in that bitch busting ass as usual. He's watching the clip back. He's looking at a little notebook with a storyboard. He obviously wants to get this last shot right because it does kind of fall on him to get it right. So boom, Shizuru walks in here. She's wearing uh, a yukata which is like, you know, bath clothing that hotel rooms usually give you in Japan. And us Americans obviously would never get that. America could never. Okay, that was a show that was supposed to happen. Got canceled. Coming soon. America <laughs> could never. Coming soon. <laughs> Coming soon. Uh, Coming soon. So she walks in and she says, hey, Kazuya's freaking out in his head seeing her in this outfit. Okay, second, second, third major one of this episode, actually. And she's telling him how the outdoor bath is super nice and the food in there is also incredible. So she walks over to Kazuya and he's like making this freak out even worse because he's like, too close, too close. <laughs> Obviously about to pop his first of many boners <laughs> in this episode. <laughs> you boys know what I'm talking about. You boys oh, know I definitely know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, and she's like, look. I know you want to get this right and all, but why not just take a break and go hit the bath? He's like, nah, nah, I'm fine. This is what I want. And here we see something that we're going to see a couple more times in this episode. Chizuru has a flashback thinking about her grandpa. But in this particular flashback, he doesn't say anything. It's just his face. It's insinuating that it's going to be a heavy part of the story. Camera goes back to Chizuru and it's just showing her mouth from the side. 
and it almost kind of looked like she was frowning a little bit. After this, it was time for them to actually go and get the shot for the last scene. All right, so Kazuya's setting up for it. Here we go, boys. Chizuru says, hey, listen, I changed my mind and I do need to tell you something. All right, obviously he freaks out yet again. And he's like, what? Right now? She's going to pick up right where she left off right now, like as we're here to shoot this fucking scene. All right, and he's like, this is, he." okay, he tells her, this is the part that gets me. He even says to her, this isn't a good time. Can we wait till after we shoot? It's like, bro, okay, you were curious as to what you thought she wanted to say almost this entire episode. And now that you're about to find out, you want to wait? Just let her fucking speak. Stop being a pussy. Exactly. Exactly. Like, God damn, that part made me mad. Because he knows she's about to fucking dig into it. And he's like, no, no, we're going to have to wait. I don't know, boys. I don't know about this show anymore. First off, first off. He wants to wait. And us viewers, we know this is about to be some bullshit. Ain't, we, know. Ain't about be, yeah. we know damn well Chizuru's <laughs> not about to confess her fucking love to him. We know we're about to get some dog shit. Bruh, at this point, pretty much Kazu is pretty much a money bank at this point. At Like, literally, at this point. A personal loan bank. I'm honestly disappointed in this show. I'm disappointed in the writer. The only good thing coming from this show is the animation at this point. The animations are fire. I will say that. Um, the writing could be a lot better unless the back end of the season really kicks our ass with like some tins. But again, I don't mm-hmm. think that's going to happen. I really mm-hmm. I'm going to trust happens. the manga readers. They say it was going to get spicy. Yeah, y'all said spicy. It, and if it doesn't, then we know y'all all can't read. If it doesn't, so. if it doesn't get spicy, we're going, we're going to delete all the videos. All the runner girlfriends <laughs> taken down. <laughs> we're going to delete all of them. <laughs> so, Damn. so she's like, all right, let me, let me talk to you. And like, although her face was all red, okay, it boiled down to literally Chizuru telling Kazuya how much she appreciates him doing this for her, and she says how. <laughs> <laughs> All that. Okay, they left, us, they left us on that big-ass cliffhanger thinking she was going to confess her love to him for her to just be like, hey, I appreciate you doing this for me. <laughs> and then start sobbing about a fucking grandpa. Fuck your uh-huh. grandpa. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa. 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 Fuck, fuck the grandpa. Oh, my God. Literally, this man has did everything for this woman. And she, she don't want to confess her love? Yeah, but her She's, grandpa yeah, but- is going to be the reason why she falls in love with him. Yes. The grandpa plays an important part to all this. Bro, we, right. bro, we didn't care about the grandpa until like right now, basically. No, no, because they showed him in other ep- like other seasons, season two, uh, whenever she had went to like that shrine or some shit to pray to him. Like you you could tell right then and there yeah, that he was going to be yeah, kind of important to this. Man, mm-hmm. that was like a, what, a one clip thing? <laughs> Literally, really? And she's like, hey, one she, clip is uh, better than nothing. One clip is all you need. <laughs> She tells him, like, how much uh, she loved her grandpa, but then he passed away. And she mentions that he was the one who really encouraged her to be an actress. But now that he's gone, he'll never get to see her on the big screen. So her hopes are that having her grandma see it, okay, it will relay the message to her grandpa up in heaven. All right. Even though Yeze says, fuck the grandpa. And then here we go. We got Dick Cheese McGee making the movie for her. He's in heaven. Well, he has to make it now. He's on his last scene. He's not just going to stop now. Shit, I'll stop. It just blows. (laughs) What a quick. Literally, if I'm doing this for a female and she's just talking about some grandpa bullshit, bro, Bro, in clip, let's go home. Damn. Yeze scamming out here. Damn. Bro, bro, (laughs) scamming. You know what I'm saying? You know, Promise she scammed this girl. Him? you know, you know, I mean, she scammed him. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tom is definitely getting scammed. All in the them, future. All the dates, I mean, she could have been no. a little bit nicer and been more of a friend to be like, Look, this one's on me. You ain't got to pay for this one. She made that man mm. pay for every single rental date they went on. <laughs> it just still, this whole scene just still pisses me off. All that buildup was for Cheezer to just tell him thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh <laughs> Thanks. Um, so then as they actually get to filming the scene, Kazuya, bitch boy, is behind the camera fucking Dick Cheese crying McGee. his fucking ass off. Happy Dick Cheese from McGee. hell because she told him thank you. This guy is fucking soft, okay? 
Saul, he's a bitch. This man was hunched over behind the camera, still shooting the shot, but he's just like pouring tears. He's like, ah, I understand that he's in love, but damn. Just a thank Damn. you from Shizuru sends him spiraling like that. No, he no, he was crying uh, because of the grandpa. Because you remember, uh, she was like, I forgot how it went, but she was talking about both of their grandpas, and about I forgot how she said it, but pretty much she was getting emotional about the two grandpas, and then that's when he started crying about I thinking mean, about his grandpa. I think so. I think that that's a good point. Like that probably spiraled him into crying, but I also think just seeing Shizuru show some kind of fucking appreciation for him finally, like maybe also played into him fucking balling out like that bro if it's that easy literally i'm just about to end the show because i mean this literally was one of the first times chizuru's ever shown him like any real kind of emotion you know what i'm saying yeah but still i mean absolutely do not need to be fucking crying like that i hope the mic didn't pick up him crying <laughs> <laughs> he's just sobbing in the background <laughs> she's just trying to fucking act in the <laughs> so it's also here that we get another flashback to her grandpa and he's saying how if you face forward and you chase your dreams it'll all come true uh, someone will show up and be your pillar of support and we all know who that guy is for Cheezeru Dick Cheese McGee <laughs> it's <laughs> Uh, he also said in this scene which i i thought was important to note out that booze cures all bad illnesses in your body and i think that man is on to something <laughs> hey, hey hey we all in that in, in russia they pass it around i see one i think it was around like corona when the corona when corona first started i seen a clip of uh, a mom giving her kids some i think some vodka to uh, yeah, kill the uh, vodka. COVID. Yeah, dude. Vodka kills all bad illnesses. Come on, man. In the, only in Russia. Chizuru's grandpa said it, so I fucking believe it, okay? <laughs> so here we go, boys. Let me, let me hang on. Let me zoom in on me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I know. I know After what's After <laughs> all of this, baby, we get a Kazuya bath scene. Get excited. Get excited, Zay. I saw you. I saw you. <laughs> I saw hey, hey, I got all I gotta say, all I gotta say is <laughs> lay it on me. All right, so we get, a <laughs> we get a Kazuya bath scene, and he's just kind of spacing out, thinking about Chizuru, and he kind of thinks back on everything, like the first time he said that he would make a movie for her and whatnot, and he winds up hearing someone splash in the bath that was like next to the one he was in with like a wall dividing it, okay? <laughs> and he thinks for a second that it could be Chizuru. And then we see a Chizuru bath scene right here, of course. But I think it's just like him visualizing it in yeah, his head. Yeah, visualizing. Um, and this absolutely super spirals the man, okay? And he's like, what am I thinking? I have to be in the same room as her all night. Get it together. Then they show him sitting in the tub and they literally imply that he gets a boner. Because there's a little like annotation that comes right here next to his head, and it says "All rise," and he like hunches over yes. and he grabs his dick. He's like, "Oh, <laughs> that man literally got bricked up in the hot tub." What if he would have turned around and there would have been some random guy, just a family standing there looking at him, like? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so he gets back to the room, and his heart's fucking pounding, all right? But Chizuru's asleep, so he just hops into his bed, and he goes to sleep. And as they're sleeping, uh, this is a little bit time later, in the middle of the night, Chizuru wakes up. And she's looking at Kazuya sleeping, and she thinks back to her grandpa again, saying, you know, someone will show up and be your pillar of support. It's Kazuya. Um... Mm -hmm. All right. And then she has a flashback to Kazuya saying, let's make a movie together. And here they show her like eyes up close and they were all watery a little bit. And she lays down and covers her whole body with the blanket. And she's like, this sucks so much. She's realizing it's that man. Is that, that man? The very person her grandpa was talking about was Kazuya. So the next morning, here we go, boys. Get excited. We wake up to see Chizuru actually in the bath. Okay, so you kind of get a two for one in this episode with the Chizuru bath mm -hmm. scenes. You know how much the creator loves those. And while in the bath, she's thinking about the night before and what she thought about there, meaning like the pillar of support thing and it being Kazuya. Mm -hmm. So as they're checking out, the clerk says, you two are traveling as a couple. That must be so fun. 
and Kazuya freaks out yet again. <laughs> And, like, he's freaking out, and Shizuru just has, like, the most emotionless face on the entire time. Like, <laughs> she's not down for the jokes. Hmm. So, on the bus ride to the train station is where, like, I guess the gist of the action starts to happen for this yes. episode. So, it was, like, real back end on this episode. And Shizuru's asking Kazuya a couple times about him and his relationships, because he mentions how he's done lying to his family, and how the next girl he introduces to his family will be an actual girlfriend. And there's a little moment where he has the perfect chance to tell Chizuru that he prefers her over Ruka. Because she was like, well, yes. what about Ruka? And something happens, and in his head he says, well, I prefer you, though. But he fucking doesn't. He drops the fucking bag. See, I thought that was going to be it Dude, right there. Yep, he was going to say Chizuru's like trying to get him to say it. I feel like that's what she's trying to do. I noticed she the wants same him thing. to. She doesn't she want to be the person to, to say admit it. it. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. like how she told Minnie. That is true. That that's a very. She wants valid him. Point. I felt the same way, dude. She doesn't want to be the I person felt to it. say it. So he drops the bag. Obviously, you know it's what he does, and literally he says, "Yeah, Ruka's great." And then he kind of like talks her up a little bit. Completely missed his fucking chance here. Oh my god. Jesus. But shockingly here, mommy gets mentioned and Chizuru asks about her. And Kazuya's like, I haven't heard from her in a while. And he's like, she probably has a new boyfriend already. That's probably why we haven't heard from her. But we all know she's planning. Planning yep. and plotting, boys. I think they dropped that shit in season three towards the back end of the season. And we get left on like a cliffhanger where mommy drops the bomb. It's just what I'm feeling. I'm starting to feel that shit. Hopefully they don't do this at the back end of season four. <laughs> she finally drops it on like season 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, they take a little silent moment here in the bus and Kazuya's thinking about the movie process and how fun it was. And he thanks Chizuru. He says that he's really happy that he got to make the movie with her and for her. And while this is happening, she puts her head on his shoulder you know, damn well that guy was having a massive boner. <laughs> Heart attack. <laughs> and a, and a massive boner. Uh, massive and, boner, massive pre -cum. Are you telling me? You telling me I waited three years <laughs> <laughs> for a head on the shoulder? Yes. Yes. Three yes. Years. It's a slow show. It's a slow show. You know, I was three years. Bro, you have to build up to that moment. You can't just yeah, give you don't us that want moment. It to be, yeah, you can't just be as like fast that ruins the anime as, as much as i hate the speed of the show now i understand like the very 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 slow roll that they did to get us to this moment where a head on a shoulder is like ultra significant the so anime is already ruined so just imagine how big of a moment it's going to be when they actually kiss or something mm. like that that shit's going to be you, fucking massive if you told somebody to watch run a girlfriend and you won't see no <laughs> No progress until season three. You think they're going to watch it? <laughs> no, there's a lot of progress up till season three, but it's all like character development and fucking story plot. Yeah. It's you can't just, just a, be like, oh, just hey, empty show. Kiss. Yeah. We only got CD from Sumi. That's oh, all. That's, okay. not, that's not until season okay. three. Kazuya been the same since day one. <laughs> Chizuru, she barely getting some. She barely got some in season two. We got a little bit in three. Mommy. Still the bad bitch of the West. Oh my God, that's old Thomas girl. Mom, hey, hey, yeah. hey! Lay off my girl. <laughs> oh my God, Ruka, Ruka been the same. So we basically got one character that actually got full CD. Actually, you know basically what? I have to point out this. He's such a Ruka fan. At the convention, there was a Ruka Figma figure. He bought it or what? Nope. Oh. He must have not seen it. Oh, I, was not tell gonna tell oh, I was oh, not going to tell him shit. I was not going to tell him shit. You fucked. didn't even tell me. They didn't even tell me nothing. That's fucked. Should have told yeah, him. That means that you, were, you wasn't going to buy it. You bought like four autographs. That is true. Hey. That man spent hey. like 180 on autographs. Cool. Hey. It was worth it. It's the OGs. <sighs> it was worth it. One guy that got canceled. And the Frieza, Frieza was <laughs> worth it. I would have to say. Frieza was worth it. Head on his shoulder. <laughs> And he's freaking out, okay? And he's like, control yourself, control yourself. Literally trying his hardest to not pop a fucking boner. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so 
Second big part of the action in this episode, they get to the train station for the final scene. And who the fuck do you think they run into? It's Ruka. The and bad bitch of the East. She's the pissed. bad bitch of the East. Okay. I'm talking like steaming. And apparently, she ended up pressing Minnie so hard that Minnie wound up spilling the beans on the whole <laughs> fucking thing. And then on her own, she took a train out to Kazuya and Chizuru to catch up to them. And she's there. She's calling Chizuru a thought. And uh, she's saying like, Let's oh, go. How could you wear white when I know you were fucking him all weekend? Let's like, go. Heavily insinuating that they fucked or something like that. Because she's like bouncing around Chizuru and she's like, where are the hickeys? So, dude, this bitch is toxic. Toxic. That is toxicity at its finest, okay? So, catching catching your boyfriend <laughs> with another female and exposing them is toxic? I mean, okay, first of all, they didn't do anything. First of all... They were filming a, sh- a movie and Minnie set it all up. So, that should all fall back on Minnie to get her ass kicked by Ruka. Think about and that. And second of all, it's not even a relationship if he doesn't like it, her. That is true. I mean, it... That's a, such a hairy situation for this show because it is a relationship. They they are technically they, dating, but like he just doesn't they, like her. He's just dragging same, her along. It's at so the same cool. time, she's would not like Kazi, but that man still trying his ass off. That's that's I guess that's a valid point. Ruka's like Kazi, you're staying another night with me, and he's like, "What? No, I can't afford that." And she says, "Anything you did with Chizuru, we're doing a hundred times over." And Kazuya's like, "We just came here to shoot." And he's like, tell her, Chizuru. And Chizuru is not even fucking bothered with it. She just walks away and she's like, I need the restroom. <laughs> she is not dealing with Ruka's shit. But in the restroom here, she looks at the side of her face that was on Kazuya's shoulder. And she puts her hand on it, sort of like fondly remembering that she slept on his shoulder. Another mm. big moment, boys. Another mm. big one. And then look, all that calmness in the bathroom back outside Ruka's still tearing in the Kazuya's ass okay and she's basically in tears because she's hurt and she really thinks that something happened between Kazuya and Chizuru during this trip and she's like you stayed in the same room as Chizuru and you forget who your real girlfriend is and Kazuya sort of throws Minnie under the bus here and he's like dude it's Minnie's fault we were set up uh, as if he didn't enjoy it but you know we'll save that and the show ends with Ruka making Kazuya promise her that on August 26th, her birthday, he will give her anything she desires. Oh, and great. So another filler episode. I, I, think I, know, <laughs> I think I know what it's going to be, boys. I think I know what it's going to be. I might be on the same page with you. Anal. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my I thought God. that's what she said. Anything? I don't know. Anal was last episode. No, <sighs> no, 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 no. She gets the strap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he, and like he's like that means, you know, he's like anything, and then it, he just leaves off with him as with a shocked face, and then we have the outro. So that man has to do something. I'm I'm assuming the next episode's gonna be within the time frame of her birthday. Yeah. <sighs> man, oh man. What an episode, At this boys. point, bro, this man Kazuya is just a fucking chump at this point. I'm understand. I don't know. Like, I understand this is like a mid-season. It's not terrible. It's really not. It's not It's not the worst mid-season that we could have got, but it could have been a lot fucking better. It could have been Especially this episode. You have to take a lot of things into consideration. Like, number one, we're watching Rent a Girlfriend, okay? That's the biggest one to fucking remember. Number two, it's Run a Girl for mid season. Oh it's always going to kind of be some bullshit like this. You just made a valid point. We're watching a show called Run a Girl for Run a Girl for <laughs> Oh my God, we're some chumps. Season three, season four, it's Run a Girl for We ain't renting this bitch no more because now they're married. Bro, I'm going to pull, I'm going to go to Japan and rent a mom. <laughs> rent a mom. I've seen a video on YouTube. I've seen a video on YouTube like that. Oh my God. Mm, go ahead. Zay's going to be ahead. the first person to get kidnapped in Japan. Mm hmm. So I don't know, yeah. boys. After discussing this, I'm gonna just give this one a solid five. It's not what I expected, but it also wasn't horrible. We we got we got Chizuru CD. You know the the hand on her face, thinking about the napping on his shoulder. That's a big mm-hmm. one for me. And uh, I mean, that's really about it. See, I'm on the same page as you because after watching it, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to give this a solid five, a five. as well. I mean, yeah, it's it's just a mid episode. I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't write home about it, but... Like, it would have been higher. It could have been a 10. <laughs> no, not a 10. Definitely not a fucking no, 10. No, this one would never touch a 10 at all. It would have been a 7 if... Or like an 8 if Kazuya would actually tell yeah. Chizuru okay, how he, he felt about her. Yeah, if he would have dropped the bomb on the bus, I'd have probably been in like the 8 to 9s, something like that. Whenever we got to that part, it was like, okay, he's gonna confess. I think the Arthur's just waiting oh, for yeah. us. Oh yeah, they're like, riding to that catch shit us down. off guard, dude. That would have caught me off guard, guard right there because like it was the perfect time. Cause she's so, been every time. Think about this. Every even in the last episode, every time she sees him now, she asks him about Ruka. She's like, "How are you and Ruka? How are you and Ruka?" She's trying to make it to where that man says, "Look, we broke up." And then the ball can get rolling, I think. I think that's what Chizuru is really waiting for. Like you said, she doesn't want to be the first person to say anything. So she's really pressing for him to like drop the ball. Oh, me and Ruka are done. I like you. I like in season one. We thought he was going to say something, but no, he had to add as a, as a friend of girlfriend. What if we go through this entire show? I'm talking like 10 seasons and it ends and he never confesses his love greatest anime of all time <laughs> bro bro you know how you might you might have to bleed this out this asylum all right instant <laughs> literally instant <laughs> you wasted you wasted what if it's what you said what season what you said see like season I, 10? I say like we get to season 12 and he's still like the show's done i'm talking like it'll never have another season because it caught up with the mangas the show is capped never confesses his love to chizuru rented her for 12 season seasons. 12 Season 12. Yep. You, so you previously wasted 12 years of my life. Season 12, Story episode suicidal. 12. Nothing. Literally. <laughs> He's still dating Literally. Luca. We still barely see mommy. She's still plotting. She never drops the bomb. <laughs> yeah, at least it's going to go well with the title. He's going to still be written a written girlfriend. Her, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Zay. What you giving this bad boy? What you giving this 10 out of 10 right here? Jeez, man. This is a solid 15. I'm not going to lie, man. This is a good one. But for real. If I asked uh, Arthur to drop a, a bullshit episode, it'll probably been this one. We got three bullshit episodes back to back, literally. Yep. But this one was better. Than this the one other was two. better than the last two, but not by much. Not yeah, by but much. A small Not by much. Hey, this one was not that good because towards the end, I, I, I yawned at the end of watching the episode. I yawned. That's how you know it was I thought, I thought the end was the best part. I was Yeah, bored. the ending was the best part. I, was, I don't know what the was fuck bored. you've been smoking. I think, like, really, the, the episode got me, like, after he was crying, after they shot the Starry Night scene. I think that's where yeah. the episode picked up for me, but everything before that was just bullshit. Exactly. I don't know, man. Mm. I'm hitting this one a four. Oh, mm. The four... Honestly, you, you, basically, you basically wasted 20 minutes of my life, basically. I mean, I guess I can see that. Well, 10 minutes or 8 minutes. Bro, the these first episodes half. are like 20 minutes. They're like 23 minutes. I know, but the first half was like, ugh. That first half sucked, and I was like, man, this is going to be a 2. But then it picked up. It, it really picked up. Because now she's up. fucking, now she's starting to see that that's him. She, Kazuya is the guy that her grandpa was telling her about. Yeah, after what? After how many episodes? <laughs> after a couple seasons. After a couple of seasons. I'm scared though. I'm scared because I mean that's a, that's I know that it sounds kind of small, but that's big CD on Chizuru's part, and I'm scared that the next episode seven is going to be filler. Bro, we've been getting filler this whole time, basically. Yeah, I mean they're doing it kind of weird. They're doing it where it's filler with like one really minute piece of like advancement for the story. It's kind of interesting. You know, they do enough to where like if this episode right here wouldn't have had the head on the shoulders, like I would have called it full filler. Then they do that shit, and now I'm hooked. Now I'm like, man, what the fuck is what's gonna happen? You said the head on the shoulder caught you. Yeah, yeah, That's it massive. caught me too. That's it massive. caught me. That, that is absolutely bullshit. fucking massive for this show. You bullshit. know how long we've been waiting for this? Bullshit. Yeah, season one. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. I don't want it. bullshit. Uh, oh, boys, that's pretty much it for this week. It's not as great as I thought depressing. it was. Depressing. Depressing. Somebody please get us out of this fucking hell that has run a girlfriend season three right now. Please. Well, next time it's going to be filler because it's <sighs> Ruka's birthday probably. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm pretty much calling it full filler. He's going to have to fucking give 
Ruka, whatever she wants, anal, and you know, Stop. I'm telling oh you, God. she said anything. Anal for him. She's gonna be wearing the strap. <laughs> 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 And on that note, everybody, that was this week's episode. We hope you enjoyed. Tune in next week for another filler and another probably five. But until the next time, remember to take it easy. And so long, everybody. Sayonara. Any mag love anal. <laughs> True that, brother. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Be sure to visit our website at www.animag.org. See you next time. <laughs>